What's going on folks? Here we are. It's a new year, 2021. You know what that means. New boat, new season coming, new boat tour. Let's check her out. All right guys, let's do it. Here it is, my brand new 2021 Ranger Z520L. I absolutely love this boat. It's been the same boat that I've been running for the last five years. So let's break it down. Something I've never mentioned to you guys before, but it's a very important asset to my entire rig, and that's my trailer. So looking at my trailer, let's talk about the road armor, this protection coat that they put on the trailers. You're running up and down these roads. I put about 30,000 miles a year on my trailer. That road armor protects my trailer from all the gravel, rocks jumping up, things like that. Completely protected, I absolutely love that. That's a great feature. Another thing Ranger's done that I love, this right here. Okay, how many of us have been looking for rocks, a piece of wood, anything to chalk our tires when we park our rigs because we're afraid they're gonna roll down a hill or something like that? Not anymore. They've incorporated a built-in parking brake where I can lock down my trailer. I'm not worried about my boat rolling down the street. All right, guys, the business end of the rig. Two of the most important things on my boat are gonna be my power pole blades, my power pole, and my Mercury 250 Pro XS four stroke. What an amazing piece of a machinery this is right here. Um, they came out with this engine in 2019, and I absolutely love this thing. No more oil. That's the first thing that comes to my mind when I look at this, not to mention the power, the force, and reliability that this engine provides. So this engine, when you fire this thing up, I mean, you know you got yourself something. This has this amazing roar to it. But to be honest, at an idle, it's very quiet. And that's true to most four strokes. But low end, torque, getting on pad, this thing jumps out of the hole. Mid range, throws you in the back of your seat. And the top end is awesome on this Ranger Bass boat. A big, heavy boat like this Ranger, I'm still pushing 70 plus miles per hour. So I'm very pleased with the new Mercury engine. Um, of course, I have that attached to the rig on a TH Marine Atlas jack plate. Another great piece of equipment that's mandatory for me as I'm in and out of shallow water and I'm always looking for the sweet spot in which my boat is running. You add a person, you take a person out. You got more fuel, you got less fuel. You got more tackle, you got less tackle. Being able to make those subtle adjustments with a hydraulic jack plate, I can always dial my boat in and get the best performance out of my rig. All right, guys, one of my most favorite features on my Ranger Bass boat, I spoke about this last year, is the actuator that controls my drain plug. I can't tell you how many times I've launched my boat, we've all done it, and forgot to put my drain plug in. Well, in years past, you'd have to run back to the launch ramp, pray to God you didn't take on any water, and try to hurry up and get on the trailer so that water could run out. Not anymore. For me, my billage pumps start kicking on. I know, oops, I forgot to put my plug in. I just walk to the back, grab the actuator, turn it to end and I'm in there. But if you're in a Ranger Bass Boat, you don't have any worries anyways because they're full of foam and you can't sink them. Underneath this flap, this is how I charge my batteries. I simply pull up, pop that open, there's the plug right there, boom. I'll plug in, I'm ready to roll. So of course we all know Rangers, they're not known for speed, but when it comes to comfort, fishability, and just overall performance for a fishing platform, they are second to none. Um, they've been around forever. Forrest L. Wood, back in the day, built one excellent boat. And still to this day, the Ranger is, in my opinion, the top of the line in bass boats when it comes to overall performance. All right, guys, so for the last three years, I've been running one of these. I've had people make fun of me. I've had people call me an old man. I've had people make, you know, poke jokes. I don't care. This piece of equipment right here, it's called a trick step. This right here has saved me from falling off the boat several times. It is literally like walking up some stairs to get into your boat, just like this. All right, guys, now we're in what I call the office, okay? We've made it to our spot. This is go time. Trolling motor, electronics, hydrowave, everything up here 
it plays such a huge role in what I do on a day to day. So let's break it down. We'll go through it all. I have two Garmin 10 inch Echo Map Ultras. One's dedicated for my Garmin Live Scope. The other unit is split screen. I use my 2D sonar and my mapping on the top graph. I got my two power pole switches right here so I can easily activate those whenever I hook up to those big fish and I want to drop the poles and hold tight. Um, then we have our keypad up here. This controls our trim, navigation lights, our live wells, uh, as well as the internal light. Nicely, conveniently located right there. And then another key piece of equipment on this bass boat. I've done a whole video about this. You guys may have seen it. That's going to be my KVD HydroWave made by TH Marine. I cannot stress you guys enough. I know you guys think some of these things are gimmicks or, oh, he's only talking about it because he's sponsored. This is a piece of equipment that I absolutely have to have on my boat. Whenever I'm fishing shallow, in my mind, I feel like that breaks up some of that sound. It breaks up some of that noise. And I've noticed anytime I'm fishing for smallmouth, I don't know what it is about it. They literally come to the sound of that hydro wave. And we all know once you get around some aggressive smallmouth, they're going to bite. So got to have my hydro wave. All right. Moving along, this bad boy right here, this is new. You know, last year was the first year that I ran this trolling motor. This is the Garmin Force trolling motor. I'll be honest with you guys, I was apprehensive at first, just like I am with most things that come out. But after running it for an entire year, I can tell you that I am thoroughly impressed with this motor right here. Um, by far the most powerful trolling motor I've ever used. Um, not to mention it is super duper quiet. This thing will pull this Ranger bass boat, believe it or not, at 3.83 miles per hour, okay? That is super strong. Um, this is a 20 foot Ranger, a heavy boat with two men, almost four, almost four miles per hour. So that gives you an idea of how strong this motor is, uh, but yet and still it is very quiet and stealthy, super strong bracket. I just haven't had any issues out of this motor and I'm, again, I'm thoroughly impressed. So. We got it strapped up and we're running it again. All right, guys, by now, if you have not heard of this, you pretty much have been living under a rock. This is the Garmin Live Scope, okay? It is becoming a must have in the professional bass fishing realm. My crappie guys out there, you already know, the guys that are running this, I mean, this thing is amazing. It reveals fish, bait fish, and cover that you literally never knew was there and you would never have made a cast at. But now, with this forward view technology, you can see them. What's cool about it is you can also switch it to down view. So my ice fishermen out there, um, my people that love to fish vertically, this also works great for that. So it has many different options. What you'll notice is the mount that I'm running this on. This is a little nugget. I always try to throw a little nugget in there for you guys. This is a little nugget. The, live, the, the perspective mode mount is what I have this mounted on. And why this is a nugget is because I'm not using it on perspective mode but I'm utilizing the bracket because it gets the transducer away from the shaft and a little bit further away from the trolling motor head. So you have a crispier, um, less distorted image. So that's something I picked up along the way. Uh, if you guys don't have one, check it out. Perspective mode mount from Garmin. All right, guys, let's jump into the storage of this boat. This is one of the greatest features about the Ranger Bass Boat is the storage. Holds tons of rods, tons of tackle, all your miscellaneous items, life jackets, throw cushions, things like that. The day box, I mean, there's just tons and tons of room. And we're just talking about this front deck. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, this is where I keep my life jacket <laughs> and the vast majority of my tackle. All of my Plano style boxes, the 3700s, I store them in here vertically. And then I'll give you guys a little tip. What I like to do, I use a, a label machine. This is, I found this to be most effective for me. I label all my boxes with a label maker, right? And then I store them in here vertically like so. So when I'm in a rush, when I need a bait, when I need a jerk bait, when I need a rattle trap, when I need a bait right now, I'm not guessing what's in what box, where's what. I look in here, everything's completely legible and easy to see because I have horrible handwriting right? And I can see right there. I need a swim jig. Boom. I don't hesitate. I reach in here. I got my swim jigs right here. Okay. Small investment saves me a lot of time and it'll likely save you guys some time. So look into a label maker, but uh, put all your boxes in there like so. And there we have it. All right, guys, to the left, we have the rod locker. 
which this Ranger boat, you can actually put rods in the center if you choose, but I prefer to solely use my left rod locker just for rods. I like to keep my center hatch for all of my tackle because I keep a lot of tackle. So right now I got this bad boy stuffed with a bunch of favorite rods. Um, I mean, you could put easily 25 combinations in here. What's cool about the Ranger is it comes pre-cut with the holes that line your rods up so they're not getting all tied up and crossed up. You put your rod socks on them, you keep your socks on. When you need a rod, you reach down in here and you pull one out. I'm not fighting with treble hooks and things like that being caught up in other rods because they have it itemized individually so I don't have that issue. All right guys, and then I have my day box. My day box, I use this for all sorts of things, but oftentimes I use it to keep baits that I'm using that particular day at close reach and I don't have to open up this big center hatch. But just like at your home, or at least at my home anyways, I can't speak for you guys, I have a junk drawer. You know that one random drawer you got at home that you open it up, there's lighters, pencils, sticky tabs, thumbtacks, playing cards, dominoes. Yeah, I got, I got that box at home or that drawer at home and then I got that box in my boat. And I'm gonna show you guys. And it's right here. I mean, this is my like random box, right? I mean, I got swim baits in here, spinner baits, look at it, crappie, jig. I got all kinds of stuff in here. But it's just my miscellaneous items that may or may not have fit into a, another box, but they're in my junk drawer, in my boat. Anyways, I also keep my crappie gear in here. I don't leave home without my crappie gear, guys. If you know me, I love to fish for crappie, so that hangs out in the day box. And then I also have another bigger box down in here that I keep my drop shot worms in. Um, and then my leader material for my spinning rods, like my Seaguar and Volt, baby. This is the juice. Have that in there as well. So that's my day box. Quick, easy to reach, right in front of the console. Very convenient. This is where we find them, man. This is where we spend a lot of time. Um, I'm running two 12 inch Garmin Echo Map Ultra units. Split screen, mapping, 2D sonar. Split screen, clear view, side view. I got all bases covered. Um, I got the dual blinker system from TH Marine called Finger Flex. One's from my hydraulic jack plate, the other one's from my tilt trim. Um, I have two different stations for my power poles blades right here. I got one for if I catch a fish and I walk down into the bottom of the boat, I wanna be able to drop my poles here. Or there are times when I'm outside of the boat and I need to drop my poles. I can do that from the outside of the boat. So I have another um, control right here for my power pole blades. Um, my units, these are mounted on Bass Boat Technologies mount. I've been running these my entire career. I'm not sponsored by Bass Boat Technology, but in my opinion, they make the boat the best mount. I mean, I'm out on Lake Erie, St. Clair. I'm on Malax. I mean, some very, very treacherous places where these things get beat around. And these Bass Boat Technology mounts, I mean, it just, it just does not get any sturdier or stronger than these. All right, down below, we got our TH Marine Hot Foot. Another key essential piece of equipment on the boat, man. When you're out there in that rough water, you do not want to have one hand on the steering wheel, one hand not. Easy way to get ejected. So two hands on the steering wheel, just like you're driving a car and you have your hot foot, which is very similar to a gas pedal in your car. So a lot of control um, and it allows me to operate this piece of machinery safely. All right, so here's my, my center hatch. This is like a glove box, right, in your car. I love bringing things and relating things to cars because everybody has a car. I keep my scales. For all my buddies that like to claim they caught five pounders, yeah, I don't believe that. Let's see. Let's find out. I got my remote for my Garmin trolling motor. It's mandatory. Got to have some rope. Never know when you might need a tow or get stranded. And then inside of here, this is super cool. They got two USB ports where I can charge my GoPros or my phone or my laptop or my iPad or whatever right here on the boat. Okay? So, very important to have that. And then last but not least... You gotta have a fizz needle, okay? My guys out there catching fish in 20, 30, 40 feet, throw them in a the live well, you need to fizz them first. We'll do a video on that at some point. Anyways, that's what I use my, that's what I use my glove box for. All right guys, right behind me. This is something that uh, never gets talked about, but these are essential pieces of equipment for me, okay? I have my super stick push pull, which is mounted on two brackets right here that they uh that comes with the pole and then i have my th marine money pole 
you tired of using losing crankbaits, jerk baits, square bills, things like that, invest in one of these and I promise you, you won't lose anymore. I have not lost a crankbait shallower than 10 feet since I've purchased one of these and I've been running this for about four years now. So just something to think about, you know, if you don't like you losing, losing baits, they got some products for you that'll prevent that. And uh, when it comes to getting stuck, this right here will get the job done, will get you out. It's called a super stick. Uh, it extends out to like 15 feet, I think it is. Super, super doable and strong. And uh, again, not a sponsor of mine, but this just equipment that you have to have out here when you compete full time. All right guys, so now we're here to the back of the boat. Obviously I got my live wells right here in the center. And then we have more storage, which I have loaded up with more tackle on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, I like to keep my, all my tools. Um, and this is also where I keep um, my rain gear. Very important, right? All that's in here. Uh, and then uh, of course we have the back hatch. And this is where a lot of new stuff for 2021 is located back here. Let's check it out. All right guys, the brains of the boat. So right on top, I got my throw cushion. And so just so you guys know, in the state of Alabama, if your throw cushion isn't the first thing on top when you go in and reach in whatever box you have it stored in, you're getting a ticket. So make sure you got that bad boy on top. So there's my throw cushion. And now I wanna show you guys new batteries that I'm running for 2021. I'm not gonna bash the batteries that I had prior, but I had some very bad luck with them on, one, on, on more than one occasion. So I did my research. I contacted a lot of my buddies that compete on tour. I wanted to continue to run lithiums and I asked their professional expertise, guys that have been running them long before me. And they turned me over here to Miller Tech. So for 2021, I'm running Miller Tech, 100 amp lithium batteries, all four. I got a cranking battery and three 100 amp trolling motor batteries to keep my electronics, my power poles, crank my engine, and obviously my trolling motor are all gonna be Miller Tech. So, very happy about that. They've been excellent thus far. All right, this is another new piece of equipment for 2021, and that is the power pole charge. I mean, technology just keeps getting better, things just keep getting better, and power pole has completely hit a home run with this power pole charge. I can control everything around my batteries from my smartphone. From my Apple iPhone, I can get on there while I'm in the bed. Not even out of the bed, I can tell you exactly where my batteries are. I can adjust from putting the emphasis on a cranking battery to the trolling motor batteries, or I can just keep it shared in the middle. I mean, it is a complete system where I can manage all my power all day long with this power pole charge. All right, also, I have my spare prop back here. Uh, it's a 23 pitch Mercury Fury prop. That's what I run. I have that on the engine as well as my spare. Ranger has a convenient spot cut out just for your spare prop in case you ever get into a uh, bad situation. And then we here we have our controls. Okay, so right now I keep it on off that way so you know nothing drains the battery while I'm not fishing. Uh, but in the event that we're going to take off, we just turn that to on, and you'll hear this. And when you hear that, you know it's game time. All right, guys, that's it for my 2021 boat tour. I appreciate everybody checking out the channel, watching my videos. Please let me know what you guys wanna see in the comment section. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the water.